Hi everyone, good to be back. Thanks for coming. Uh, this message is called The Right Way to Think About Circumstances. This is the third in our series of messages, Fixer Upper. Between 2013 and 2018, uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines pre uh, recorded 179 episodes of Fixer Upper. Uh, they fixed up houses that were outdated, messed up, in terrible condition, and transformed into beautiful uh, houses, uh, you know, or dream houses in many cases. Uh, so I got to thinking, you know, we all love fixer-upper stories, taking an old house, making it into new. How about we do a fixer-upper series on life transformation? We love those stories, too, of people's lives that are transformed before and after. And particularly, I want us to look at <coughs> fixing up our lives uh, in the way we think so that we can move from unhappy uh, to happy. Uh, so Paul is in prison. He's in Rome. Uh, he's been flogged. He uh, has been thrown in prison. And uh, yet we find him, this is before he's in Rome, he find, this is in, in Philippi, we find him singing praises to God in the middle of the night. How can he do that? How can he be joyful when he's in prison and uh, been just beaten to nearly to death? Um, well, the answer is, what we're going to see in our uh, lesson today, is that he saw what God was doing through his circumstances. In his circumstances, he saw, I can uh, reach people for Christ here in prison. He led the jailer to Christ and the jailer's family. And so that's what transformed him. So he saw what God was doing through his circumstances. I'd like you to turn to your neighbor or to your group and share a bad experience, bad circumstance in your life when looking back on it, you saw that God brought good out of it. Okay, so uh, I want to read a couple verses from you, Philippians uh, 1, 12 to 13. Now, I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me, being flogged, thrown in prison, has actually served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. So rather than being negative and sour and angry, Paul is joyful. And he's seeing what God is doing through it. He led the jailer to Christ. He's, he's chained to a uh, different Roman soldier every six hours. So he has a chance to talk to at least four men every day. Uh, he, he talks to people in Caesar's household. His case is going before Caesar. It's going to be a big deal. Or, uh, is this new Christianity? Is this just part of Judaism or is it something new? And uh, so, if you want to be happy, learn to see what God is doing through your circumstances. All right, have a great study. Go through the journal. Pray for each other. I hope you have a good time together.